90 Day Fiance is a TLC series about Americans who have fallen in love with someone from another country and wants to get married. The show has been airing for many years, launched several spinoffs, and has produced some of the most talked about couples in the history of reality television. People travel to the United States on a K-1 visa and have 90 days to decide if they want to make it to the altar, but once the visa expires they are either in it for good or gone forever. The couples have to adjust to cultural differences and different family dynamics and ultimately deciding within a few months if they truly want to get married. Now let's note that they're just like any other reality television series, there are some fakeness to it, and this isn't any different. 90 Day Fiance has displayed some fake relationships and abusive actors who display signs of having all the wrong motives for marrying their other half. Now the fans eat this up and can't get enough of the show's awkward moments and heated arguments, complete with all the essentials needed for reality TV that include love, drama, unusual circumstances, and of course tears. It's not surprising why the show is one of television's most addicting reality series. The show is definitely filled with arguments, blow ups, and breakups. Some of the most remembered moments are some of the most absurd moments seen in the show's history, and today we're going to cover a few. But before we do, make sure you like the video if you enjoyed 90 Day Fiancé and subscribe for future content. In season 4 of 90 Day Fiancé, an episode introduced fans to Chantel and her Dominican fiancé, Pedro. Though the two were actually in love, their families always clashed on the show, which caused a lot of stress for the young couple. Things didn't shape up either, as a few only got worse when the couple returned from 90 Day Fiancé happily ever after. The couple traveled to Dominican Republic for a second wedding, and during the family dinner, Chantel's family noticed that Pedro's mother and sister served them something strange. The something strange was chicken feet and chicken neck, and they ultimately decided that they wouldn't eat it. And of course that made the two families start fighting. Chantel and Pedro attempted to translate and keep the peace. But in the end, Chantel's family stormed out in anger and said in the religion of voodoo, they use a lot of chicken feet and naturally didn't want to be taken advantage of. George and Anne always stood out from the rest of the 90 Day Fiancé couples. For starters, Anne didn't try to hide the fact that she was only interested in marrying George for his money. And since George knew that, he decided to lie about being rich. Now, although the whole relationship between the two was pretty much nothing but awkward, a big moment came in a sit-down, tell-all interview with host Sean Robinson early that season. Anne scratches the word idiot inside the driver door of George's car. And though she has a lot of time for reflection before the tell-all, it didn't appear that she got any type of clarity. When Robinson asked Anne if she regretted keying her husband's car, she only answered no. After the host asked her why she didn't regret the action, the reality star stares while the camera was on George for what felt like the longest stretch of silence in the history of television. Now in the next story we have Mark who is age 58 out of Baltimore, Maryland and Nikki age 19 from the Philippines. Now their relationship was strange from the very very beginning. This couple was from season 3 and had a huge age difference with Mark being 58 and Nikki being 19. Now given his age, Mark could have easily been labeled as Nikki's dad and it seemed as though he treated her more like a daughter than a fiance. They definitely made the viewers feel weird with their love affair pretty much all the time. When Mark bought Nikki a new Camaro to help with her homesickness, his sweet gestures gift turned in into an absurd moment. Before Nikki even had 30 seconds to enjoy the gift, Mark let her know that this exact car is the exact make and model that his ex-wife used to drive. He then gave her a lesson on how his ex-wife used to operate the vehicle and her subsequent pregnancy. But things got weird soon as he picked her up from the airport while driving home, Nikki stared out the window and eventually touched it, which immediately prompted a reaction from Mark saying that she shouldn't touch the window because it would leave marks and that was the same rule that he had for his children. And that's how we'll wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like down below if you do like 90 Day Fiance and subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more content just like this and we'll see you guys.